now I I'm full of hope that our problem, the nightmare with stuttering, is finished. Okay, so let's talk about that alone. When did you find it and how much time did it take for you to realize this is it? It took too long. <laughs> it took too long because it took a few years to have YouTube make recommendations to me. It took years and then I finally, after all these years, I clicked your video and I saw a transformation and immediately I went to website. I read the frequently asked questions, I saw the price, I saw testimonials, mm -hmm. so I began to learn immediately. I had this intuition that maybe somehow somebody solved this problem of stuttering finally and I wanted to give it a try. Of course, I didn't have funds then. It took me a few months to basically to make a document with all your testimonials, with all my opinions, and I prepare a five-page document in PDF, written document, that I sent to my father, and I said to him to read it. It was my opinion. I expressed in written language what were my concerns, my motivations to take this program, why I thought that we made us of our ourselves to invest in Michael Williams, so it was really planned for me. It wasn't like I provided the link for my father and said to him, just look at the website, I think it's okay, let's just pay the money and do it. I knew that he would refuse, so that's why I took a few months. I went through all the information, through all the videos, and I made the most concise, the most precise document I could to convince him because I know that he is skeptical. He was very resistant at first, but I just took my time, wrote a document, sent to him, and then we had a long talk because he saw that I care. If I take months to prepare something and I am convinced and he knows that I am not a stupid person, I do not make impulsive actions. So we had a long talk with my mother and with my father he watched the transformations and then we made our mind. I'm so happy you brought your father with you. He was there to support you. And I just didn't Look at him, you're answering to him, not to me. I prioritized washing up my kitchen because I wanted to prepare for the class, which is more important for me. Do okienka z listami poleconymi na poczcie przy rogu 33 ulicy i 8 alei w Nowym Jorku. Zauważyłem, że urzędnik w okienku... I will say that today I'm feeling much better, I am more rested, and my head is clearer. Head is clearer? Yes. It's easier to think I'm not so tired. Zauważyłem, że urzędnik w okienku jest... It doesn't mean clearer? Just one second. Zauważyłem, że urzędnik w okienku jest bardzo znudzony. Waży koperty, wyjmuje znaczniki. No, you gotta, wydaje... answer, you gotta answer the question. That's the whole point. I can't answer his question. Do you plan to answer? Because it's important. You are using What were you asking? Now I, can, now I can answer you, but what was the question? What was the question? Yes. What do you mean when you are talking that you, the brain is clearer? My brain is clearer because it's easier for me to come up with words. It's easier for me to speak because my mind is more fresh, more rested. I don't have such a void in my head like yesterday when I was tired. Okay. Monotonna praca przez całe lata. Do you want to drink something to drink or, or, or some snack? I am okay now. You don't have to prepare anything. If you cannot make a low one, if you don't want to work for the whole year to collect the funds and you want to take the class immediately, just show it to your parents, but in a way that it's not very immediate, compulsive, but you take your time, you prepare the information, maybe you write a document, you send them. And when your parents see that you took your time and 
it's logical, you present your arguments, you tell them why you want to take this course, and that it will pay off in the future. That's the most important part also, because as we know, the most paying jobs with the highest salary are those when you are required to speak. So you have to convince your parents that it's a good investment and it will pay in the future, that you will return the money in the future. And I knew that if my parents can afford going on two-week vacation to spend the equivalent of this course, then they can make a better decision and invest in their son's life and not in some vacation or some upgrades to the cars. Because those are just things that are not really important, they will pass. Just like your car may crash, your vacation will pass, but your speech will stay with you till the rest of your life. So the earlier you will make this investment, the better. You just have to learn how to speak. It's a better investment, you know, investing in yourself rather than investing in some objects or vacation. And for the parents. It's a and better for parents, investment because... for in your son's life, their creation, because you are their creation. After you have been a part of the class for two days, right? Yes, I was. I have participated in two days out of three. Yes, you have observed what your son was involved with. So could you please share your impression of what you have observed and what the results are? First, I must say that at the beginning, before the, our meeting started, I do not have 100% belief that uh, this will uh, succeed. Yep. Um, because it was the, the third attempt, uh, stuttering problem started when he was 13, now he's 22 and still the problem exists. Uh, for me it's not a big deal, but for him is the whole world. So, as I mentioned, I was not 100% convinced, but he convinced me that this time he thinks it will definitely solve his problem. And I must admit that after two days, and now after two days of um, meetings, which I participate in, and after one week after our meetings, I see noticeable change if in his um, way of life, way of thinking, way of behaving. First of all, he is noticeably calmer. It's easy to discover that something happens. And uh, the second thing is that he is uh, much more self-confident. And during the last week, after three days of courses, meetings, course, uh, meeting is uh, I, for me, the, the best word. Yeah. Uh, he told me that he participated in two, three informal meetings with colleagues, which uh, has no place in the last months. And uh, he was confident and uh, told me that was a part of the of the natural conversation with uh, his colleagues um, or maybe friends. And this this is my. Next concerned, I'd like him to be more active, more social, and now I, I'm full of hope that our problem, let's say nightmare with stuttering, will be finished and he will turn to a more active person. I'd like him to, to spend more time with, with colleagues, with friends and so on. And now I must admit again that I'm full of hope that our problem in the area of stuttering is finished. He has now Let's play a tool. And if something happened, or he will repeat uh, one word two or three times, he's aware what to do. This is the, the next uh, nice thing, that even if something happened, he will have knowledge how to manage, how to cope with this problem. And it's also very important. I listen to you the way you speak. And you also repeat words, right? Yes, yes, because English is not my well, natural language, so uh, it happens. But for me, it's not a problem. For him, it's a problem. No, it's it's not. A, it was a problem. It's, this is the, the huge difference between us.
<laughs> right, right, was, right. Thank you was, for, was, yeah, yeah. for correcting. Yes. Of course, we are not robots. We do make mistakes. It's normal. But for you, Piotr, when you make a mistake, oh, big deal. Just be careful, okay? Continue <laughs> with caution and give people normal words, not just parts of the words. But for Pavel, it was a problem. And not just for Pavel, but for millions of people all over the world. He's not the only one. It's just crazy what these methods do to people. They make them suffer. One more thing you mentioned that he knows how to cope with that. I don't like the word cope again because it's just kind of a medical term. When you have no leg, you have to cope, <laughs> right? <laughs> you have to use a crutch. The truth is that he has everything now, today, and he always had everything. What made him suffer was someone's advice, someone's method, someone's technique. What he's supposed to do to better his speech. He has perfect speech. All he needs to do is, Pavel, you tell me. What do you need to do? All I have to do is just follow everything that I was taught during this course to speak in a natural way, to just not make mistakes, to be self-aware, to be, to proceed with caution when I speak, to not break the speed limit, to just follow the natural way of speaking when there is no place for mistakes or repeating or blocks. How do I know you, to do it now. How do you not break the speed limit? When you speak and speak all the time, you just feel the speech more and more and I just know where is my limit. The more I speak, the more I feel where is my lower and upper limit. Of course, sometimes I speak faster and sometimes I speak slower depending on how comfortable I feel. And it's my decision now. I don't have just one tempo. Sometimes I slow down. Sometimes when I feel more comfortable, I speed up. What and now it's my decision. What does it depend on when you go faster, when you go slower? When I feel more comfortable, I tend to just speak faster because I can think faster, I am not stressed. The words come out to me in a more rapid way. So I just naturally speak faster, but I do not break the limit. When you say you the words, the words just come faster to you. Faster so, to again, I'm looking for one word. You gotta be... Russian. Oh, rational. rational. <laughs> this is the word I am looking for, rational. I'm gonna ask Piotr. Piotr, do you ever think how quickly or slowly you should speak? No, I never think about it. I speak slowly or quickly, it depends on the situation and depends on my, of, of the people to which I am talking to. Depending on the situation. Your father is a very rational man. So you kind of took it after him, right? So be rational. Whatever is that you want to do at this moment, what do you want to express? and who are you talking to, and what others want from you at this moment. That's how you speak, not faster, not slower, rationally. Thank you very much. Thank you.